Guten Tag, Mike here. So today I'm going to give you my best tips for doing board offs with the focus on doing it at the fin. Now doing it at the handle is sick, but if you want to be the baddest motherfucker at the beach and get all the honeys, then you better learn this method. So this is something that I struggled with for a long time and one day it just clicked. So in this video, I'm going to give you my golden tips that helped me start nailing it. No. So guys, if you ask me how to do any trick, I can give you like 15 points for how to do a board off or a boogie loop. But when you're trying to do your trick, you can't remember all 15 of these points. So every time I'm approaching any trick, I have maybe like three or four points in mind that really help me nail them. So here in this video, my three focal points for doing a sick board off at the fin are swinging the board out, making sure you have a good kite position, and keeping your eyes on the straps when you get that board on. Do you feel relaxed and in control when you're flying? Like you have time in the air to try something? Then you're ready for board offs. The hardest board off is the full board off at the fin. Before you attempt this method, I recommend you master the following. Loosen your straps to allow your feet to slip in and out more easily. It's weird at first, but trust that it's going to be awesome once you get used to it. You're going to need to rely on your toes more to grip the pads. Grip the fin with your fingers and press your thumb hard into the board to get maximum leverage. Whether you're doing a board off with the front hand or the back hand, you need to make sure that you steer the kite over to the side that you're doing the board off on. The hand that stays on the bar can only steer the kite in that direction. So if you leave the kite on the other side, the only direction you can steer it in is away from the top of the window, which will make landing with the kite above you impossible. So if I'm jumping to the left and doing the board off with my right hand, which is my back hand, then I need to leave the kite over to the right side. So guys, if you want to meet up and get some coaching, I'm going to be hosting clinics all over the world. So you can visit my website, gethighwithmike.com and check out my schedule over there. Here's my golden tip, the swing. If you swing the board out when you take it off, then you can use the momentum when you're swinging it back to get the board right in front of your foot. If you don't swing the board, you're going to have to put your foot over to the side awkwardly and it's really difficult to get the foot back into the strap. I recommend you take a walk on the beach and practice this. You'll get way more practice in than if you only tried it when you're actually kiting. The hardest part of the board off is actually the board on. There's no way your feet are going in the strap if your eyes aren't laser focused on it. So forget about everything else. Don't look over here, don't look over here. Look at the strap, laser focus, eyes on the prize and full commitment. Commit to getting your feet into that strap and actually watch them going in. As with any new tricks, crashing is part of the game. Just make sure you don't crash with one foot in the strap or land on your board. Always be ready to kick the board off or throw it out of your landing zone. Don't try board offs in shallow water because it's really easy to get injured. Make sure you practice them on a bigger kite first. My personal favorite for learning board offs is the 12 or 13.5 meter XR6. An easy way to earn style points is to put your feet together to show that you're super in control. I'm starting a new video series called Amigo Cam with Mike. You can send me your video clips and I'll help you figure out how you can improve your kiting. Just tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag AmigoCamWithMike. Meow. Rider of the episode goes to my man Jet Bradshaw. 
jet has been kiting for two years and has somehow survived the hardest crashes of 2019 and made it into 2020 as one of Cape Town's biggest senders. Yeah, oh, what am I saying? Oh, it's a no wind there. I got this. So one of my next videos is going to be teaching you guys the most important things that you can do to prepare yourselves to be absolute fucking monsters on the water. So make sure you subscribe and come back and watch that video.